Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Eric Bravo and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I went from a financial analyst to landing a production assistant job at Nickelodeon. I've been meaning to do this video for a long time, but it is finally here and I just want to share my journey with you guys. My journey into animation has been a weird curvy zigzag path and it's just not conventional but I did want to share my story in hopes that it could help inspire some of you guys who wanted to make a switch into animation. In case you're new to the channel I created the Nickelodeon cartoon short The Outsiders and wrote the book How to Get an Animation Internship. I'm currently a PA script coordinator on the show Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles at Nickelodeon. Prior to becoming a PA on TMNT I did have a history with Nickelodeon. I interned with them in the vault department back in 2013 and ended up pitching and creating my own cartoon short in 2014 as part of their animated choice program. When my cartoon was greenlit, I was already working full time on Google's self-driving car project. But Nickelodeon was so awesome to let me continue my work at Google while I made this cartoon short. And I just remember my schedule at the time was so crazy. I would wake up at 5.30 every morning to catch a Google bus, work on the short during my free time, and after work, I wouldn't sleep until 12.30 or 1 a.m. If you guys wanna hear more about that, please leave a comment down below on how I balance Nickelodeon and Google. I'd love to share the story with you guys. In 2016, when I finished my cartoon short, I was still at Google. I was about 25 at the time and I felt I needed to decide on my career. I could stay in tech and work on this futuristic dream project at Google, or I could see what I could do with this cartoon short with Nickelodeon and pursue a creative career down in LA. I remember I went on vacation with my family and I guess I had an epiphany there because when I came back, I gave Google my two weeks and thinking back this was very premature because I didn't end up moving to LA until a year later in 2017 but when I did move to LA I naively thought getting a production assistant job which is the entry-level position in animation would be easy for me mainly because of my experience and my resume at the time I already had interned at Warner Brothers Nickelodeon and DreamWorks and even made a cartoon short with Nickelodeon but I was young and dumb and I to be honest it was tough I was unemployed for months and during that time I only received one interview, which I, did, I didn't get the job. With rent money running low, I decided to use my degree I received from college and start applying to jobs outside of animation. I never thought this degree would come in handy, but I got a financial analyst job in Lionscape. At first, the job was cool. I didn't mind working at Lionscape because my work hours were flexible, the pay was fantastic, and my commute was literally half a block away. I also enjoyed my team and became close friends with some of my coworkers. However, by mid-year, things started to change for me. I I started not to feel happy, the work I was doing would not fulfill me, and I felt I was in a huge creative rut. Even though I was making decent money, leaving work by 4pm and I had the whole evening and afternoon to do whatever I wanted, I liked working with my coworkers, but a part of me was still not satisfied. I left Google to pursue animation, but I somehow ended up in finance and I was getting too comfortable. But I have this thing where every time I feel like this, I listen to one of my mentors, Steve Jobs, his Stanford commencement speech. In it, he says for the past 33 years of his life, if he looked in the mirror and asked himself if today were the last day of my life, would I want to do what I'm about to do today? And whenever the answer has been no for too many days in a row, I know I need to change something. So that's what I started to do. I, I wanted to take action and, and, and get back into animation. And although I was an intern at Nick before, it's been years since I was an intern and they kind of forget about you if you don't put in the effort to stay connected. That doesn't mean internships don't help you get jobs because this one actually did. During mid-year of 2019, I was looking for animation jobs and I found the script coordinator position at Nickelodeon. And I knew an old intern friend of mine who worked on the same show. So I reached out to her asking if the position was still open. Fortunately, she said, that they already hired somebody. So the following week, that same friend called me through Facebook Messenger. I honestly thought the call was by mistake and I didn't pick up. Only answered after she called again. She said a PA position was open on the team and asked if I was interested in getting back into animation. And I said, of course. The next part is important to know. She said if I could interview that same day in a couple of hours, they already interviewed three other candidates and the manager was leaving for a week. So it had to be that day. And I said, sure. Not really knowing how I was gonna pull this off. I get off of work at four p.m. and I'm in Santa Monica and they wanted me to interview by 5 30 in Burbank. They wanted me to send my current resume and I had to make an excuse to leave early. I rushed home and I sent them a copy of my resume and I always have a copy of your resume on hand. Changed to a suit and tie and I rushed to my car. Uh, traffic at the time can be up to an hour and 30 minutes and I barely made the interview on time. They let me up and, and they were impressed that I could send them my current resume. Met up with them in such short notice and changed into a suit and tie and they later admitted that they were impressed 
impressed by the suit and tie, and it showed that I was willing to go above and beyond. During the interview process, they didn't ask your typical interview questions, but questions to get to know me, to see if I was a good fit for my coordinator and for the team. As a PA, you're reporting to the coordinator who reports to the manager, and even though I've had multiple internship experience and a cartoon short, it was still hard for me to get a PA interview. A couple takeaways if you want to switch careers and get into any animation studio. One, always have your current resume updated and on hand to send out. You never know when an opportunity will turn up. Two, keep in contact with your networks and it's okay to ask if they know of any job openings. You might feel like you're using them, but, but it's okay to ask, just don't bother them. There's a huge difference and we all know how hard it is to make it into the industry. We do all we can do to try to help out, so don't be afraid to reach out. And three is be persistent. It took me months to find an animation job. And lastly, if you find yourself in a position where you're interning at a major studio and you know animation is a path for you, try not to leave it. It's going to make your chances of landing a job that much harder if you do end up leaving. So this is how I got a job at Nickelodeon. I don't mean for this to be a scare or detour you in, in like, oh, he had all these internships and a cartoon short and was still not able to get an entry level position or an interview. And at the time I was an intern, I didn't know if animation was a path for me. And, and I did want to explore other industries like tech. So I purposely left and, and my path is going to be different than yours. You know, what I hope you can take from this story are lessons that you could learn from. Best of luck to you all. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Eric Bravo and stay tuned for the next storyboard room. Take care. See you guys.